Hi, and welcome to the third section, Advanced Concept in SVG. This section is about complex shapes. Don't get scared by the words complex or advanced. I'm going to teach you everything you'll need. This video is about polygons and polylines. So let's start. I'm going to continue with the last code. First, I'm going to delete the hello world and I'm going to make a complex shapes. Then let's add some comments. First, comment out the lines and then add some new comments about polylines and polygons, which is the one that we are going to start with. After that, it's time for your polygon element. Polygons are shapes with three or more straight sides. The polygon element requires one attribute, which is the points. The points must be a set of coordinates, where SVG will take care of drawing lines between them. The only thing you have to do is to add the polygon element and then add the points as you'd normally do in a line. Points are coordinates, which means you need an X and a Y point. You can have an unlimited number of points. You separated X and Y with a comma and the points with a space. In this case, I'm adding four points. SVG will do the trick for us and will fill the fifth point so you can have a closed shape. The points I gave are random and I'd encourage you to do the same thing with your shape. For the polygon element, you actually need just two points, but in this case, I have more than two. Save and refresh the site. As you can see, we have our code and everything seems nice. Let's continue with the polylines. I'm going to copy and paste the same code as in polygons, because you will see that there are not many differences. I will keep the points, the fill, the stroke and the width. Now let's change the fill attribute to none. Save, refresh. See, now you only have the width, but no color, and this is how Polylines works. So far, we created polygons and polylines. 